a specific kind of design of finite automata in which the divisibility of a binary string by a particular number is going to be discussed in this session. So we are going to design a finite automata over 0, 1 that accepts strings which are divisible by 3 for which we are going to interpret the given input string as a binary integer. So let us consider some binary strings and decide whether they are divisible by 3 or not. 0, 1, 1. So how do we interpret the value of 0, 1, 1? So we start with the lowermost bit. So its value is 2 power 0. The next bit corresponds to 2 power 1. The next bit corresponds to 2 power 2. So altogether wherever 1 is there, you substitute the value. This is 1. And uh, the second bit is 1, so this is 2. So if you sum up, it will be equal to 3. So 3 divided by 3, yeah, the reminder is 0, and hence it is divisible by 3. Next takes 1, double zero ones. This uh, fourth bit will be considered as 2 cube, which is 8, and this will be 1. If you sum up, it will give you the value as 9. Then one more string we have taken. This is 16, this is 8, and all others are 0. So 16 plus 8 is 24. Again, if you divide by 3, it's all, uh, it is coming around 8, which are a reminder of 0. Yes, whatever strings we have seen till now, it is all has to be accepted by the automata that we are going to design. On the other side, if you take, let us take one string 101, which is an equivalent of 5, and uh, 1001, again, which is an equivalent of 16 plus 1, 17. Then you have an e a binary string 1 which is an equivalent of 1 followed by 1101 1, which is an equivalent of 8 plus 4 plus 2 is not there plus 1 so 12 13 so it's all are not divisible by 3 in a sense that if you divide these numbers by 3 it will leave you some reminder not 0 right and hence these should not be accepted by the automata so I hope uh, the concept is clear which to accept and what to be denied by the automata. Having fixed this, can you see any of these patterns, similar pattern? Because till now when whatever finite automata we have designed, it's all uh, we had the practice of looking at the common pattern. Now having looked at the strings that needs to be accepted by the automata, it's clear that no particular common pattern is being found. So no pattern matching is available and hence the procedure which we have applied for pattern matching is not possible here. So how to do? What is the common similarity that exists when you want to check whether a number is divisible by a particular integer or not? Yes, when you apply divisibility, it gives you two outputs. One we call it as quotient, another one we call it as reminder. This quotient we are not concerned with because depending on the value that you give. Let's say you have 3, 3 divided by 3 is 1, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 9 divided by 3 is 3. Even the denominators remind say, depending on the quantum of value you have, the quotient varies with which we cannot really able to understand whether the number is divisible or not. The next component what we have is reminder. So reminder is the only possibility through which we can understand whether a particular string can be accepted or has to be accepted by the finite automata or not. When you come to divisibility by 3, either it can leave you an output of 0, in which case we need to make that particular string to be accepted by this finite automata, or else it may give you a reminder of 1 or 2, in which case it should be rejected by the automata. Right? So hope the concept is clear. Pattern matching cannot be accept and hence we go for divisibility concept. To start with the design, let us draw three states to accept three reminders. One with the, the, a state representing the reminder 0, a state representing the reminder 1, a state representing the reminder 2. When any string leaves 0 as the reminder, it means that should be part of the string and hence I made this state to be the final state and other two, two to be the non-final states. Let's clearly understand how the values are getting computed as and when we move on reading the strings from binary strings from left to right. Now to start with, I have started with strings of minimal length which will always be 0 and 1. And what is the binary equivalent? The equivalent will be 0, 1 and the decimal equivalent loss also is 0 and 1. Moving on to 1, 0. How 1, 0 is obtained? Initially, you will be reading the strings 1 
okay and then when the next input symbol comes on on your input string which is zero this initial string has been moved one symbol left okay let me explain in detail just have a look at assume the word is going to be 110 okay so which is uh, this string actually initially the system will be looking at the first input symbol 1 so what is its actual value now the value will be so your input symbol is 1 what is the value that we got it is also 1 because 1 is the value this is the first value we look at the input now as you move on to the next symbol actually what happens we are shifting this one towards the left one time and then we i am adding one more input symbol one okay so when you are performing a left shift operation it's clear that you are increasing the value of that particular uh, say digit or the symbol by 2 since it is a binary representation your value will be multiplied by 2 actual value one will be multiplied by 2 with that the current value will get added right so which is equal to 1 so what is the actual value 2 into 1 plus 1 which is equal to 3 which is the decimal equivalent of this thing now moving on when you read the third symbol actually what happens we are trying to shift these two bits one bit towards the left and i am trying to add the third bit so whatever value we do have here it should be multiplied so it is 3 multiplied with 2 <coughs> which is the base of the system okay and add Can add the current value to it, which is zero. So three into two, it is six plus zero, which is equal to six. That is how the system is functioning, right? So that's how this one one zero is being read. So the first value one will be read, and the next one will be read, and the next zero will be read. When you read the, when you reach the end of the symbol or end of the word, you are the state on which you present decides. the corresponding state of the system when you move on to when you move on to the two digit number it means that this one which is already there existing in the system has been moved one sh one shift one digit left and then a new symbol has to be added this new symbol which you can add could either be 0 or be 1 which it is just leaving you 10 as 11 as the output in either case as you are shifting this one towards your left we have to multiply 2 into 1 okay with that whatever symbol you are adding that you add which gives you 2 and 3 now coming to 100 how is it being obtained now you have 10 here this 10 if you left shift and trying to add a new symbol see actually you have 10 you are left shifting this 10 now to this lsb you have the provision to add either 0 or 1 which leaves you 100 and 101 in either case what is the equivalent of 10 we do have 2 okay so 2 multiplied by 2 with that you are going adding 0 or 1 likewise you can proceed to compute any number of digits whatever be the decimal value that we obtain if you take up the remainder what is that remainder value divided by 3 this is v not r so value which is here divided by 3 so that is the remainder we ca we can't say divide it's actually the modulo operator so 0 modulo 3 it is 0 1 modulo 3 it is 1 2 modulo 2 it is 2 3 modulo 3 again it is 0 because it gives a quotient of 1 and then remainder of 0 then 4 modulo 1 it is 1 so you can see the pattern here this is the pattern now we need to observe right 0 1 2 0 1 2 0 and it goes on that's why we are creating three different states so 0 represented by q0 1 represented by q1 2 represented by q2 and again since the same state repeats this happens from q0 when your input symbol is 1 you have to move on to q2 from q2 okay what is the previous input symbol 1 what are the two possibilities either you can have 0 or you can have 1 okay when the input is 0 you have to move on to q2 now having observed this pattern this is the pattern this is the pattern and this is the pattern the concept is that you have the state q0 okay so from what if your input symbol is 0 again you have to stay back in q0 if your input symbol is 1 then you have to move on to q1 okay you can write, draw the three states initially q0 has to be the final state since the remainder 0 and if a number leaves the remainder 
it needs to be accepted by the automata okay so when from q0 when you have an input symbol 1 you have to move on to q1 we reached that state now when your input is 1 your input is 1 you have two provisions okay so your previous input is 1 that is this state your current input can either be 0 or be 1 if it is 0 you have to move on to q2 so when from q1 when my input is 0 you have to move on to q2 okay from this state okay what is my previous symbol it is 1 it is what is my current symbol it is also 1 okay so the msb states the previous state the lsb states the current state so you have to move back to the state q0 okay fine now coming to q2 okay from q2 which is your state q2 what is the first state that it represents it is 1 0 this is q2 okay so 1 0 so where is those state these two from 1 0 you either you have the possibility again you have the possibility of having two symbols 0 or 1 when it is 0 you have to move on for q1 when it is 1 q2 so when it is 0 you move back here when it is 1 you move back here that's all very simple when i draw the transition table it will be very simpler even more so q0 you have q1 and then you have q2 and we have the input symbols on 0 and 1 q0 becomes the start state and of course the final state too from q0 on 0 okay you have to be in q0 from q0 on 1 move to q1 then from q1 on 0 move to q2 and then from q1 on 1 it move to q0 then q2 on 0 q1 q2 on 1 stay back in q2 you can see the pattern see q0 q1 q2 q0 q1 q2 likewise it repeats the same thing what we see here okay so again the finite automata will do the pattern matching but the patterns are being achieved by the way of analyzing the arithmetic computation that is happening inside the system hope you can understand similar way you can try divisibility by 5 else we'll continue in the next session thank you